bad. We'll just go on the spot. Um, what's your name? I'm sorry. Alexandra Burgess. Alexandra Burgess. Burgess. Got you. Uh, hey, what's going on, everyone? My name is Otto Blogger. We are here at the Marriott Hotel in North Phoenix, and I have the beautiful Mrs. Alexandra Burgess with us. Thank you for joining. I appreciate it. Hi. Yeah. No problem. How are you doing today? First of all, I'm. Doing well. I'm very sleepy, but pushing <laughs> through it, powering through it. Got one more thing, and then get food, a nap. It's gonna be great. I heard that. Um, your title, um, mm -hmm. you know, Miss Elite, Ultimate Elite Ambassador. What does mm -hmm. that mean to you? I, I kind of wasn't expecting it. Um, it was kind of a, kind of a. Um, Kind of a surprise going into pageant weekend was kind of that they were going to be adding a second title to each of the age divisions. So I was I was kind of surprised when when I actually saw all the titles and all of the newer ones because it didn't really seem real before that there was a higher possibility of me getting crowned. So yeah, a little. Now you can, you know. I would say in the teenage division, mm -hmm. did you expect to be competing? Not competing, but you know, um, around you know, most more so other contestants. I, I don't think so. I think that um, there are only so many ages you can do in the teen, and since I'm about to age out, it kind of made me. It made me a little bit more confident in the sense that one, I knew what I was doing, and two, I knew um, just how the system was and like what I was supposed to do. So it was it was kind of um, you know it, it kind of came down to me kind of just kind of worrying about myself instead of worrying about all the other people I was competing with, yeah. who I was competing against. So it was kind of just, it, it made a little bit more sense to me since I'm 19, so I'm almost out of here, that um, I, would, I would either be the oldest <laughs> or I would be just barely the oldest. Yeah. How long have you been doing these uh, pageants? On and off since I was about, 10. I did one. I did National American Miss when I was 10. And then I kind of grew out of it for a while until I got this title. Um, I participated in like a younger princess pageant in my town like two or three years. Um, but I grew up around it my whole life. So I had my mom who was um, a pageant director for uh, Miss Arizona so I kind of grew up around it and helping out with that that when last year when she found this pageant she was just kind of like hey you should do it with me and so this year I made the decision to go in and get that mother and daughter, mother and daughter duo that's mm -hmm. incredible I love mm -hmm. it what's the most fun thing you would say doing these pageants my favorite thing is definitely being able to dress up. That's my all-time favorite thing, but one of my other favorites is getting to meet new people, getting to make new friends, and getting to just have an experience, even if it is a limited one. Any type of adventure, I think, is a good adventure. So it was, it was kind of, not kind of, it was very nice to be able to come in and do all that. Do you think there's any pressure on you? What was that? Do you think there's any, uh, any pressure on you? Like when you do these events, to smile, to you know, stand, to walk the runway? I mean, I, could de I definitely know that for certain pageant groups, it's a different experience. We grow with different uh, pageant directors, different organizations. I know that there's a lot of issues with the pressure being put on you and a certain expectation being set with you. Going into this one, our directors are uh, reigning title holders. We're very supportive and they were very positive that it just kind of 
it alleviated all of the stress and the pressure that we were possibly feeling before. Oh, <laughs> I admire and I appreciate you guys because I can't imagine, you know, what you guys are going through, being here for hours, getting prepared, getting dressed up, and then, you know, doing the show, rehearsals before the show, you start doing it in front of people that you've never seen before, maybe your friends, but it's still, like, somewhat nerve-wracking. And you say you've been doing this since you were 10. I'm, I'm pretty sure sometimes you still get nervous, you know, even though... Yeah, yeah, I grew up... Um as a dancer, so I'm very used to being on stage and being able to just put on a show. And that's basically what this is, in a sense, just being able to put yourself out there and be your best self is really a great, exper uh, great experience <laughs> for literally anybody, for you know either work or performance or just any type of social event. Right. It's really good practice to be able to do all of that. Have your family, or obviously your mom, but has your family been supportive of what you've been doing? Oh yes, yes. My family, I've always had a supportive family. A mom and dad who always kind of push me to do what I need to do. Um, for me as opposed to doing what they want from me or as opposed to doing what others expect from me. So I, I don't think there's anything, especially pageants, that I could do in my life that my parents wouldn't be supportive of unless it was like something bad or dangerous. But safe, safe and honest work is, is always good support from them, so. Incredible. Um, is there anything that you want to tell your future self? Um, I would say hold your head high during the bad days. Hold your day. Oh, hold your day. <laughs> I would say. I'm gonna. I'm gonna fix it. I would say hold your head high during good days and hold your head even higher during bad days. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, no uh, problem. Can you go to your social media real quick? Uh, my social media is going to be um, LexiLuhu underscore on both Twitch and Twitter. And then it's going to be underscore LexiLuhu on Instagram. Um, it's spelled L-E-X-I-E-L-U-W-H-O. And then my Facebook um, is yet to be decided. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I appreciate you. Thank you for yeah, your time. Yeah, of course. Um, my name is Apple Blogger. Uh, Lexi, thank you again. Yeah. You did an incredible job today. All you guys, all the ladies that performed at this thank event, you. did a great job. Congratulations on winning. Yeah, thank you so much. Your title. Amazing. You're welcome. Uh, have a good day and hopefully get some rest. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> we are out.